Okay, gorgeous women, my magical, amazing women. So excited to take you through the map of the Pleasure Queen journey. And I want you to just get a little bit of, you know, here, the lay of the land. And um, this is a seven month immersion journey map. There is a, an accelerated immersion of four month. So if you signed up for that particular program, your um, modules are gonna get unlocked faster. Um, so you, you're gonna be working at a more accelerated rate. So maybe working with two or three of the goddesses within like a month and a half, two months, you know what I mean? Because we have seven. So, you know, however you want to divide up that time is up to you. Um, I would say at least two weeks with every goddess um, is, is, I think, sufficient, you know, I maybe three weeks even. So, you know, once you... Um, you know, you can download all the materials and keep them on your computer. So once the course is done, you can keep practicing. I mean, that's the whole point. This is supposed to be a lifestyle change. This is supposed to be about creating these amazing habits of pleasure where you are the embodied goddess flowing in your life and the queen of your realm. Okay. Um, I might zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so there's our beautiful logo. So there is our first intro page and beautiful graphics. So how to move through your seven month pleasure queen journey with ease. Month one, okay. So month one is all about Isis. And she is one of the most well-known goddesses revered across cultures throughout the ancient world and even in modern day paganism. Very, she's one of the most popular goddesses and you know, rightfully so. Her actual name means throne. And so when you work with Isis, you are embodying the throne. You are the foundation of your sovereignty, okay? Um, and she is beautifully guiding you to rise up into your sacred work using your irresistible yoni womb magic. So sex magic is a big part of Isis magic. So we're going to introduce uh, some sex magic practices that you're gonna use throughout the whole seven months and hopefully use in your life, okay? And so there are sex magic practices that you can do on your own and with a partner, if you decide to bring them into this study, which I encourage you. Um, I have more than one lover and I have a boyfriend and I really enjoy sharing this with the men in my life. So if you are, um, it doesn't matter what gender or what sexual orientation you are, you know, one of you has to embody Isis, the other has to embody Osiris. So the most natural pairing obviously is may, uh, female Isis, masculine Osiris, but it could be two women or two men doing it together. Doesn't matter, but someone has to take on the feminine and the masculine role because this is about polarities, okay? And we're gonna be talking about that in depth in our sex magic practice module, okay? Um, so the sex magic is really healing for our fatigued bodies, for the exhaustion that we have to deal with, for the overwhelm, right? It just helps us not give two fucks about every single little detail, right? And we're still in our greatness. We're still in our excellence and our brilliance. And we are not tied to being perfect or to having a specific outcome. And when you're not tied in that way, you are, lim you are limitless. You, there's every possibility is open to you. So again, that is the power of working with the goddesses and then bringing in the sex magic together and the other polarity, which would be in our universe, the masculine polarity. 
The other part of the um, of this first module is we're going to go through the Pleasure Queen of Prosperity modules one, two, and three. And um, in this first month, and it will be so exciting because these are where you'll learn about the sacred money archetypes. And you'll learn about your top three archetypes and how you can use the energy and the orientation and the paradigms of your top three money archetypes to improve your income generation, to improve your manifestation of opportunities of miracle money just coming in. So prosperity consciousness is a huge part of this course. So we're really going to dive into that in month one and month two, and just get really solid in that foundation, solid with um, how we show up with money, how we show up in the world as women of affluence, abundance, and influence. Um, what else do I want to say about this? Um, there's beautiful tracking tools. Um, and, you know, when you're conscious each day and each month and annually about your money, not just waiting for tax time, not just, you know what I mean? We're so used to burying our head in the sand and not wanting to look at our finances because it's scary. We don't like what we see. So, but the thing is, when you are not in a conscious relationship with money, it basically won't exist in your life. Okay, so that's the little intro for month one. So month two, we are going to go into the Lalita Goddess Initiation, and we will finish up the Pleasure Queen of Prosperity modules four, five, and six. So you'll, again, really be um, focusing on prosperity consciousness and diving into that and feeling really juicy and rich, right? That's, you know, what, what's the saying? Wealth is an inside job. So when you feel wealthy and sexy and rich and beautiful and powerful on the inside, you're going to attract more love, more abundance, more money, more opportunities, and, you know, really be of service. So Lalit is all about learning how our body is the portal to pleasure and abundance. And she will help you blend the energies of the erotic soul to expand your capacity to savor pleasure. Um, so we're going to work a lot with her mudras and chants. She is a Hindu goddess, so they're very specific, you know, mandalas, hand positions, chants. Um, we're going to do an invoking temple dance. And again, it's going to be very simple. Um, all of the rituals and... Um, ceremonies, altar creations, spells, everything in this course is made for you to just naturally pick up on. It's They're all going to be really easy. And then my hope is too, after the seven months or the four months that you're doing this course, you could actually create your own or you'll find that when you work with each goddess, there's like a, just a little different flavor right? So we're going to have our sex magic uh, ritual and, and practice with Shiva and Lalita. So Lalita is a very um, popular and old tantric goddess, very much associated with Shakti, right? So we say Shakti is the feminine energy. It's a generic term for all the feminine energy. So there's like the Sarasvati Shakti, the Lalita Shakti, the Lakshmi Shakti, um, the Durga Shakti. So Lalita is this form of Shakti in Tantra that we will be working with. And um, what else do I want to say? Yeah, so... Every goddess, including you know Isis, will have a daily practice. You'll have a set of meditations. You'll have a beautiful song list. So it's all about you know, and also which uh, wh which essential oils are associated with her, what crystals are associated with her. So that way, each month you're going to be pulling in all of these beautiful tools to help you connect in with each goddess. 
Okay, let's go on to month three. So month three is Aphrodite. So act, you're activating your flow and releasing old patriarchal business paradigms and life relationship paradigms and allow this Aphrodite essence to infuse your own priorities into the forefront. Aphrodite is a goddess of, she, the best way to explain it is, is not to have and to hold, right? She is all about flow, all about not being owned, right? She's not owned by any man or any woman or anything. So really this is very sensual goddess sovereignty at it's one of its most potent places. So that's by the time we get to month three, we're really going to be getting into having that, throwing that energetic space out. So I'm going to give you exercises. How do you put that energy out? Even before you walk into a room, before you get out of the car, right? You're just taking this energy and it like goes ahead of you. So people feel you coming before, again, you even show up. It's very beautiful, powerful practice. And then another part of this module is who are you pleasure queen? So this is taught by a beautiful erotica writer and a woman, a woman's embodiment um, specialist. Her name is Yael Wolf. You're going to love her uh, part of this course. She's one of the guest teachers. So she will be doing a video and teaching on those specific modules of her who are you pleasure queen selfie course. And we will be doing sex magic alchemy with Ariadne and Dionysus. So Ariadne is, was a beautiful princess. Dionysus is the god. And we'll go more into the mythology in month three. But they come together to create this uh, divine magnificence. And you know Dionysus is a very wild ecstatic God, but at the same time, he is very, very devoted to Ariadne and very devoted to lifting her up as queen. So he takes her up from mortal princess to uh, immortal queen. So I feel like, again, uh, this is a beautiful uplifting of your energy for month three. It's going to be really powerful. So next we're going to start introducing some of the business modules of this journey. And we're going to do that in the fourth month when we focus on the goddess Lakshmi. She's a Hindu goddess. She is the goddess to petition hands down for all things financial wealth, radiance and ease and for the home stability, sustainability with your finances in the home. Um, and she teaches us that adorning our body and space with beauty and keeping an inner and outer space is really uncluttered and pure attract never ending prosperity and abundance. So there's a lot of great practices with Lakshmi that I'm really excited to bring to you. And we're going to go through the heart flow, which is the pleasure queen method. So I'm going to introduce to you the method of breath work visualization and energy work that I do to channel the goddesses. So what's beautiful is, you know, eventually this course, I will be certifying other women to do this work, to teach this work in their neighborhoods, in their, um, their spiritual uh, places of worship, whatever. Um, so you'll learn the method that I use and have been using for, for many, many years. So that starts in month four. And then we're going to do the CEO of Pleasures modules one, two, and three. So these are all about leadership, stepping into your business, into your career in a very empowered way and um, creating a whole new identity and a whole new archetype based on who you are becoming as you're going through this journey. It's just absolutely exciting. Okay, month five, we have Pele. So by month five and month six are, we get into what are called the dark goddesses. So the dark goddesses are the ones who, they're, they represent 
that voice within us that is unexpressed or is squelched down or denied or shamed. Um, so in Pele's case, she is very emotionally volatile. In her mythology, she's the volcano. She erupts in anger. So anger and jealousy, she's very jealous. So anger and jealousy, all of these, what we would call, you know, ugly and maybe not ladylike emotions, like how do we dance with those darker emotions and listen to them and allow them to flow through us? This is absolutely essential for our mental and physical and energetic health. And women are taught to stuff everything down. So no, we've got to stop that. So um, we are creating these beautiful safe containers with the help of Pele um, to really bring in those that awakening. So you'll have some really earth shaking insights and feel like, oh my God, okay, things are changing. Things don't feel quite as stable. But what's going on is you are recreating yourself. And we're going to go also into uh, Lemurian codes as well in this. And we'll be working with Lemurian crystals. Um, and the other module that um, besides, we're also doing, the, we're finishing up the CEO of pleasure modules. We're, we're getting into, you know, really creating your offers and writing up your, you know, uh, your brand in a whole new way, looking at your brand from an archetypal perspective. So it gets really exciting um, on the business side of things as well in month five. And the other module that I'm going to have for you is a very uh, entry level sacred ceremonial cacao journey training. So I will we'll do cacao journey together. I'll teach you how to make the cacao, where to get it, um, and how to create a container so you can bring this into your own communities, which is going to be really exciting to see you all just, again, taking your work out in the world in a new way and offering to other women um, these beautiful practices. Okay, month six we have another dark goddess, we have Lilith. So Lilith is completely uncompromising. And she really is the one who reminds us to take up space unapologetically, like to really just ask for the high standards that you truly desire in your life and your business, not taking no for an answer or not putting up with mediocrity and substandard conditions in your life, like really like drawing that line in the sand, right? And so learning what are your non-negotiables, right? Um, and there is no pussyfooting around with this goddess. She is very strong, very, um, she has a lot of desires, but most of her desires are around independence. So again, similar to the Aphrodite part of the course, the Lilith section is very much about all about you and not necessarily worrying about what's going on with your family and children, work relationships, like really like, who am I here to be? And who am I here to express? And how do I want to have sex? How do I want to eat? How do I want to work out? It's basically all about you. And you know, it seems like, oh, that seems so obvious. But for, again, for women, we are very externally focused and we're really socialized to be that way. Worry about what everybody else is doing and is everybody else is okay. So this is a month, again, where you're just like turning all that energy back towards yourself, feeding and nurturing yourself with this beautiful, powerful energy of Lilith. She's amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. So she knows we're talking about her. We're calling her in, right? We talk about goddesses. They start to come through. So this is always exciting. Um, we'll have uh, two more CEO of Pleasure modules, five and six to complete. And um, we'll look at um, actually the luscious launch might go into month seven. So we'll see some of these, there's a lot in the, the Lilith month, but 
um, really looking at how to launch your next big offer, whether it's a coaching one-on-one or, or a big course like this or group coaching or a mastermind, I'm going to take you through all the steps to launch it. And our sex magic alchemy is with the goddess Brigid and the god Kernunos. And these are Celtic gods, a Celtic goddess and god who are so connected with the sacred land like Glastonbury and I, you know, the, in Ireland. So Ireland and the UK and all that whole world of spirituality and power in the land is really going to come through this special alchemy so this is a lot about connecting through these vortexes of sacred lands and how we can bring them in using our imagination and really again putting ourselves in that energy and also calling that energy in to help us create the life that we desire okay the final month month seven so this is the month that is dedicated to Yemaya. She's called Yemanja in Brazil, and she is my main patron goddess. Um, she's a great mother goddess of the ocean, of all life. So this is all about, go again, going within and then integrating all of these different goddesses and looking at how am I rebirthing myself? Um, we're going to do a beautiful activation with star beings and also rebirth of a star ceremony, which is in four stages. So it'll, we'll do one stage each week. And then the, the final stage will be our final session together where we just blast out that energy into the universe. It's going to be amazing. Um, what else do I want to say? Um, so for the sex magic, we are we're looking at star beings and also celestial beings. So we're going to work with Archaea Faith, a female archangel and Archangel Michael. They are the twin flames archangels who actually preside over supposedly the twin flame pairings. And that's a, you know, that's a story some people follow and some people don't. I'm I feel like it's an interesting story, but I don't let it limit my relationships. And I don't want to like, I don't want someone else's story to write my script. Um, but I feel like when we bring in Archaea Faith and Archangel Michael as this divine feminine masculine pair, we can really create our own special soulmate love story. And Yemaya was the goddess that I petitioned to bring in my husband. So my second husband, who was the father of my child, it was a wonderful, beautiful marriage. It, um, it did end, but it, it was because I wanted it to end. I wanted my freedom. I wanted my sexual sovereignty. So um, still, Yemaya is a beautiful goddess to petition for a life partner, husband, wife, and also she was the one that I petitioned to have a child. So she is very powerful and a wonderful goddess to have on this journey with us. Okay, so um, that is the full Pleasure Queen journey map. Thank you for listening and being here and just diving in and becoming this best version of yourself, the most juicy, fabulous, empowered and embodied woman that exists already and we're just remembering and removing layers of resistance in this journey okay i adore you okay i'll see you in the next video